Okay, so we're gonna make our way over to here. Whoa, what the heck was that? They're back again? What? Oh, never mind. Okay, these are our guys, right? I think so. Yeah. I want a okay. piece of penguin when you catch him. Promise me. Concentrate on keeping him out of here. He's a dangerous man. You're emotional. You'll make mistakes. Leave him to me. <laughs> At least he's straightforward, isn't he? Batman, don't mess around, fool. All right, so let's take a look at the outfit here. Get so our override code. That's the codes. famous free suit. Indeed, it is. Unfortunately, I was so happy when they said that Mr. Freeze was going to be a <laughs> playable boss in the game. He's definitely my favorite boss fight in all when of I leave the. Here, um, wait ten minutes, then get this over to Freeze. He won't be dangerous. No problem, Batman. He's definitely my favorite boss fight overall, like in all uh, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. He's just a really, really cool boss fight. You'll see. There we go. We got the override codes. Fantastic. So there it is. The Disruptor Freeze Override. Use remotely, uh, sorry, used to remotely disable custom designed freeze gun weaponry. Must be active, uh, activated, sorry, in close proximity to the target. Sounds like a plan. So now we can get a move on and confront the penguin in the iceberg lounge. Of course, now that we've got the proper tools, we can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna head on out again and uh, get rolling. And that's the one thing that, I, I don't know, a lot of people complained about the fact that there's a lot of backtracking in this game. Like, there's a lot of uh, going back and forth, back and forth to the same exact locations. Uh, but I don't know, I actually, to be quite honest, I actually enjoyed that. I think that uh, it was cool, and um, I don't know, I just like that. I think that it's neat, and uh, overall, I found it to be actually uh, pretty fun to do that stuff. So, I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority of that. Uh, because to me, these sections of the game, when you have to do a lot of, like, kind of running back and forth in the same area of the game. It makes me remember of Arkham Asylum, which I really like that kind of claustrophobic feel that you had of, you know, where you didn't quite know what was waiting for you in the next corner just because it was so overrun. All right, let's beat down the shark. Beat down his snot. Boom. Get out of here, sucker. You ain't eating me. Look, like, how does that make any sense? There's a body right here. Can't he just consume that? Why does he have to consume us? I don't understand. What a rude shark. Alright, let's get on up here. And this is definitely an area that you're going to come back uh, for quite a bit of different collectibles as well. Because there's different um, different items to uh, collect over here later on. Like, there's a bunch of trophies and stuff like that. Even a Catwoman trophy, I believe, that you have to go, like, upside down and climb into a corner. So, you're definitely going to be... be uh, going to be BB. <laughs> you're going to be back there. Whoa! Okay. So I'm just going to let him fire. Freeze's override won't work from this range. I got to be careful. It will work from that range though. Almost there, and it looks like he's got also two officers down with him. So hopefully we'll be able to rescue those guys. Tell you what, this place is mine. I need to get closer it's to Penguin before activating the security override. Come on, then, son. Get me. Stay still, Batman. Boys, you think you can beat me? Yep. What? Boom! <laughs> Hadouken, sucker! I love that uppercut. That is awesome. Down You're you go. Finished, Cobblepot. No, I'm sorry. Please, don't hurt me. I can't guarantee that. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Oh, 
down we go. I knew that was too easy. I tried to help you, Batman. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no. You had to be the big man. Well, guess what? You've got a bigger man. You look pretty small. Oh my. Oh, don't look so sad. I've got a little surprise for you down there. <laughs> Here he comes. That's a face only a mother can love. Solomon Grundy. This was a cool surprise. I didn't watch any trailers and I made sure that it I wouldn't be spoiled in the game at all. So when Solomon Grundy showed up, I was like, oh my god, they actually put him in the game as well? That was so cool. Like, I really did not expect him to be in it. Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday. I found him down here when I bought this place. <laughs> Comes in handy. Ooh. Here we go. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't recall the exact uh, boss fight formula. I do remember you have to, I think, hit him and then, like, tag him into these uh, portal spots or something like that. I believe these ones right here. Something like that. Oh, okay. Hey, what the... Quick fire detonate. Oh, okay. Whoa. What the hell are you doing? There they go. There we go. Okay, so now he can't regain his health, I believe. And now it's up to us to charge up forwards and turn to do a little bit of slapping. <laughs> this is so funny. There's no ways. Let's see how much that ugly son of a bitch can take. <laughs> God, Cobblepot, I can't wait to knock you the heck out, dude. Oh my goodness. There he goes again. Oh my goodness, he went Super Saiyan. He's Super oh, Solomon Grundy. Whoa. Okay. Hey. Damn. That was quite a rough handling there, dude. Oh. Okay, so that's one down. Hey! Closed up, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Down you go, sucker. And now it's time for me to punch you again. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I love that mo- Like, the noise is just like- blah, 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 blah. <laughs> There we go. Time to finish Grundy. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Spoke too early. You really can't kill that <laughs> oh my. Time to struggle out of this situation or else I'm gonna become toast. Literally. There we go. Smell my foot, sucker. Okay. Gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Uh-oh. Not good. Whoa. 
Okay, so that's two. God, look at those tiny little electrical roaches. Those things are nasty. Okay, stop! Jesus Christ! This guy's like spamming the same attack like 10,000 times! Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. My goodness. I'm gonna die just from the spam. Yep, that's it. There we go, finally. Did you see that? With one breath of fresh air and one breath of health. There we go, finally. Grundy's in a crappy situation. Now I'm gonna finish you now. This time it's over for certain. There we go. Oi! Just you and me left. The bat versus the bird. Well, oh, okay. We're gonna use another gun. Finally, I get to beat him down. This is so satisfying. <laughs> yes, finally. Ah! Boom. Finish him. What is that pose that he's in? <laughs> he's like, no, my head, my neck, everything hurts. Where is Cobblepot? Well, look who it is, Mr. Free. <laughs> Enough. Freeze. Enough. Of course. You will regret what you did, Mr. Cobblepot. The cure, Freeze. There isn't one. What? Perhaps I should elaborate. Creating an antidote to the disease that afflicts the clown was easy. Unfortunately, the cure degrades too quickly. It needs a restorative element, some kind of reforming enzyme. Without it, it breaks down before it can help its host. I've seen this before. Finding a suitable enzyme is not the only problem. It needs to be adapted, bonded to human DNA. That will take decades. Time, it appears you do not have. What if I told you I know a man who's been exposed to that enzyme for centuries? What man? His name is Raish al Ghul. Bring him to me. All I need is a sample of his blood. It is your only hope. Raish al Ghul is dead. Then you and the clown are doomed. Not exactly. I need someone to tell me where the body is. Then I can go wake him up. Well, I assume she has something to do with race. You are a fool, Batman. You've let your only hope escape. No, Victor. If Rachel Ghoul is in Arkham City, I now have a trail right to him. Exactly, Victor. Don't you know me by this point? So let's go ahead and uh, get the blood scanned. To get a tracking signal on that. So Oracle, we can isolate that. Plan. I'm going after the League of Assassins. Why? What have they got to do with all this? Oh, wait a minute. Is this about Raish? Or his daughter. Penguin had one of the League's assassins imprisoned in the museum. I recognize the insignia. She's a member of Talia's elite guard. I knew it. What is it about that woman that makes her instantly the most important person in your world? Talia is not the goal, Barbara. I've uploaded Freeze's unfinished cure. It looks to me like the answer is... Found in Ra's al Ghul's blood. Okay, Bruce. I guess you need to go after him. But please stay focused. Don't let her get in the way again. Will do. Alrighty, so let's make our way out of here. And uh, this was a very, very productive uh, episode. I mean, we took down two bosses. That was pretty legit.
Oh yeah, here we go. I Requesting a brand new item. I data request on the League of Assassins to the bad computer. Oh, and another equipment request. Did you ever consider a bigger build? No, I've been thinking about getting a backpack. Slowed me down. Let me know when it's here. So let's see, we've got an upgrade available to us as well. The free flow power gadgets. Which, uh, when using quick wire, uh, quick wire, <laughs> quick fire combat gadgets while in free flow focus mode, this upgrade uh, drastically increases their power. However, once a free flow power gadget is used, the free flow focus mode is immediately lost. Okay. So it's a bit of a trade off. What do we have here? Uh, blade dodge takedown. A powerful counter move that will instantly take out any enemy that attacks with a blade or sharp object. To successfully complete this move, the counter button must be held as an enemy attacks, but then released and held again in between each of the attacker's swipes. This upgrade will be applied to all playable characters. So I kind of want to get that, but then I also want to take a look at the gadgets real quick. The sonic battering is very cool because it attracts people, so I do want to grab that actually. Look at Batman looking, he's like modeling, he's like, look at my sonic battering. Like a boss. Alrighty. So, uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here uh, of Batman Arkham City. I know it's a bit of a shorter one, but again, as I said, I'm pre-recording a lot of episodes for you guys, so I'm a little bit tired for today, so uh, that's why I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a like rating right below the video. It really does help me out a ton, guys, and of course, tune in next time as first we recover the line launcher, and then, of course, we start tracking down Rajal Ghul, which is gonna be very, very intriguing, and what kind of a role will he play in this whole overarching storyline i guess we'll see by the way on top of that i'd like to ask you guys to please do not put any spoilers in the comment section below that because there are people ha that have not played the game yet or are playing along uh, with me so please try to avoid spoiling the game or talking about the ending and everything like that so for now just uh, try to talk about the things that we have covered up to this point and discuss those topics because there's definitely still a lot of intriguing things that you could discuss within this uh plethora of uh, storylines so that being said if you guys enjoyed the video also share it with your family and friends and favorite the video on top of that if you could please share the video i already said that didn't i bam like a boss <laughs> but on top of that of course if you guys haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button as well and of course do not miss out on all the content that goes up on the blitzwing channel have a fantastic bat day and i'll catch you guys next time